Hello, hello, hello. This is the end of the third quarter of 2024, September 30th. It's time to hear from Norm Winsky again. Every now and then, I like to remind people about his track record. He's been broadcasting on my channel about four and a half years in, a, in, in an asset class where about 95% of people lose money. And every two weeks he comes on with a winning percentage time after time after time. So I bet you he does it again. Norm, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, I was last on your show on September, Monday, September 16th to give you a couple of cycle points that were coming up at that time. We had, uh, let me remind you, if you've seen me before, when I put a date and then I say AC, that means after the close of that day, so overnight, the plant is based on the planets and the moon, and they don't clock out at 5 o'clock, they're 24-7, so they're doing things overnight, and that energy can carry over, usually carries over, if it is overnight, into the next day's opening. So we had uh, on the 17th, AC, after the close, we had a full moon. We didn't have just any full moon. We had a full moon, which was also, and it was a partial lunar eclipse, and it, it was in the sign of Pisces, and it was at perigee. That was like three lunar cycles converging together, and that doesn't have, that rarely happens. Uh, do anytime we have a full moon, new moon, we want to look at financials, grains, precious metals, and oil, and in this case, we're going to emphasize oil because the full moon occurred in the sign of Pisces, and that's a sign for oil. Then we also had the night of the 19th, Neptune, which is the ruling planet of Pisces, so therefore we want to emphasize oil. And also let me remind you, I'll be into the opening of the 20th, same back here after the close of the 17th, going to be looking at the opening of the 18th for these markets. And let me remind you that stocks, potentially respond to all these events. So even though I don't say the stocks, just assume the stock market is probably involved for both of these cycle points. So here we have corn. Corn was going up, up, up into the full moon. And look at that. And it made a top right there at the 412 area. And then dropped to about 402. That's good for about 10 cents or so. That's $500. Here's soybeans. They this went sideways. I don't do sideways. I go on Newton's law for every action. There's an obstacle reaction. So we want to see the market doing what the corn did, where it was going up, up, up. Then we look for reversal. And in this uh, corn's case, because it was going up, but looking for down, and we got that there. But on the soybeans, it was just going sideways, you can see. So we don't expect much more than more sideways, and for a few more days it got that. Here's wheat. It was going sideways, so that's a pass. That's a yellow box. Green is good. You have an opportunity to make some money, like on the corn there. Then we're moving ahead to crude oil. We had well, two cycle windows, and I'm going to give the one uh, two points because you had the lunar eclipse in the sign of Pisces, so we're going to give that like a bonus point. So you might have thought, oh, if this sets up right, I'll do two. That dropped from uh, about 69.50 to about 67.50. I think it's about two dollars. So I guess if I'm reading that right, and that's uh, two thousand dollars per contract. So if you did two of those, you made four thousand dollars. Here's one over here. It's one of the bins going short at about seventy. And it dropped the next day to about 68 and a half. That's a buck and a half. That's another $1,500. So you had a total there of about $5,500 profit potentially. Here's silver. It's going sideways, so we do nothing. Here's gold. Had a dip into our full moon window. And you can see then it was up, up, and away. That rally took the gold to a new time all high. New, <laughs> if I can say it right. New all-time high uh, toward the end of the month. And here's S&P. It was going sideways here into the moon. 
but over here on our Neptune point, the night of the 19th, into the opening of the 20th, had you sold there, it doesn't look like much because we had such a big move here in the S&P, it squished the bars, uh, but that's actually about, let's see, you went have done short at about 20, 57.20, and it dropped to about 56.70, that's about 50 handles or about $2,500. Here's the T-bonds, that's pretty obvious, you're going up, up, higher, and that, that high there, and there's our window there, and if you sold against that high, then you would have made about, let's see, that's uh, 126, three and three quarters, down about 120, eh, 120, oh, it's about like, like maybe a buck and a half to two dollars, so that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 to, Two thousand dollars on the bonds. Here's the S the dollar was whoop whoops on back and forth crazy, but it did rally into our window there on the moon, and it had a big drop of about a half of a handle there, or more, and that's probably good for five hundred dollars. So if you add up all the green arrows and the red arrows, I <laughs> we had great eight winners, zero misses out of eight for a hundred percent. I almost wish I'd had in this. You might not believe that I'd hit 8 out of 8, you know. Alright, so here we're moving ahead here now. And we only have one cycle point this week. And that's uh, the afternoon of October 2. That's two days from now. Uh, this is the evening of the September 30th. We will have a new moon, but not just any new moon. It'll be a solar eclipse. In the sign of Libra, and it will also be at, at, at that's the farthest point, perigee I talked about before. That was when the moon was at its closest point. So we have uh, about uh, two or three cycle, lunar cycles converging there. And anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we want to look at financials, grain, metals, metals, and because in the sign of Libra, that's sugar and emphasis on wheat also. I've been doing this uh, about 50 years now. I was uh, landed right out of college on the Chicago Board Options Exchange uh, as a member and market maker uh, right out of school there in 1975 and I've been doing this uh, pretty much, I was doing it in college, I made enough money to buy the membership in uh, 1975, that was back when I had humans on the floor there and I have lots of great stories about that and now uh, you can contact me if you'd like to learn how to do this, I feel sorry for anybody who doesn't have this information. Probably, it's like fighting with one hand behind your back because the most important factor in trading the market is time. If you don't have the right time, you'll probably have a losing trade. I have a pretty good track record, as Jeff said, about forecasting the terms, the time for these terms. Please call me at 239-594. 3939. That's 239-594-3939. Or you can contact me on uh, uh, email in Witsky. That's M W I N S K I at Yahoo.com. Or you can call me on Skype at the same address. That's M W I N S K I at Yahoo.com. Looking forward to helping some of the folks there. All right, uh, Jeff, have a great day and please call today. Thanks. Bye. Okay, great as always normal. See you back in October. Thank you very much.